Welcome back, everyone. April is National Child Abuse Prevention Month, the time dedicated to bringing awareness to child abuse through education and community awareness activities. All Faiths Children Advocacy Group Center, I should say, is launching the Stand Up for Children campaign. I spoke with Michelle Aldana to find out more details about it. Joining us this morning, we have Michelle Aldana with the All Faiths Children's Advocacy Center. Good morning. Good morning. Michelle, thank you so much for joining us this morning. It's uh, April's National Child Abuse Prevention Month. It's a perfect opportunity to raise awareness for this. Uh, the the, faith, the All Faith Children Advocacy Center, you, you guys are doing something even more, though. You're you're driving forward with a campaign. So, so before we get to that came, campaign, rather, talk to me about what you guys do in general. Well, All Faith has been a trusted advocate for children and family families experiencing trauma. Uh, we've been around for over 64 years uh, and we provide a variety of be behavioral health services. We have a family wellness program, adoptions, our training institute, and then the program that I oversee, which is the forensic interviewing program, um, commonly known as a children's safe house. How important is it that we raise awareness about child abuse this month? Well, it's important this month and every month. Uh, children cannot protect themselves, although we try to educate children uh, and young adults so that they can learn body safety and know that they can speak out if something's happening to them. It's really important that adults know that they really need to report when they are concerned or have suspicion of abuse. Absolutely. I know, you know, a lot of people have had to pivot because of the pandemic. How have you guys done so to make sure that the needs of the children are being met while being safe as well? It's been very difficult, as we know, for all. Um, we did it as everyone did uh, across the world quickly uh, and efficiently. We have our, most of our staff members are uh, providing services remotely, but my team is in the office providing the interviews for the children in person and um, providing family advocacy and then also our intake department. So we are limiting the number of families that are in the office. We see one family at a time, uh, but still we see those numbers are rising. And as school returns back to in-person learning next week, uh, we're very concerned about how that will look for us and for the kids that we're working with. Absolutely. A lot of concerns, you know, especially with the pandemic, but you also want to make sure that the children are getting taken care of. So let's yeah. talk about raising awareness. As I mentioned, April is uh, Child Abuse Prevention Month. A lot of people are going to be talking about this, but you guys have launched a campaign, Stand Up for Children campaign. Tell me a little bit about it. Well, uh, we are, of course, joining in as April is National Child Abuse Prevention um, and Awareness Month. Uh, this is something that is near to me, close to my heart. It's very important that uh, we get awareness out there. We have a couple of webinars that are coming up to provide some education and training for our community partners and the public. Uh, we have one on April 6th, which is understanding the forensic interview and the importance of that. And then one on April 20th, which is how to talk to children um, who have experienced trauma. Very crucial webinars, I can tell just by the, the titles there. For people who are watching who want more details, how can they find it? You just go to our website at allfaiths.org. All right, Michelle Aldana, once again, thank you so much for joining us. Some great insights you pass along this morning. Thank you so much.